Hi, we're Joel and Leah, Leah, and today we are guessing some more slang. Yes, we are. We're doing slang from the Midwest. Specifically, Michigan. Michigan. Which, is that a state? Is it? I don't know. Is it a city? City? City. Because what would the initials of it be? Yeah. MG? Michigan. 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 And Mi people say, I've heard people say Michigan, and people say Michigan. Which Michi is it? Michigan. 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 I don't know. <laughs> Itchy Mitch. <laughs> Itchy Mitch. Mitch. In joke, sorry. <laughs> Comment down below if you remember where that in-joke is from. Oh my gosh, I don't even remember where it's from. No. I just remember the day that it came up. Yeah. This slang was sent to us by one of you guys. Thank you, Sydney, for sending it in. We yes. really love it when you guys plan out our videos. I it know. makes our life It takes so the much. pressure off. It's so good. So, and so we so haven't good. looked at the email. We've scrolled through and sort of been like, yes, the email is there. But we haven't looked at the contents. We haven't. But these slang videos are so interesting for us. It's literally like a whole other language. Yeah, and talking of languages, we are really, really pleased to be partnering again with Lingoda on this video. So Lingoda have got another language sprint coming up and you guys loved it so much last mm -hmm. time that they've come back to us again and asked if we can tell you about their language sprint. Definitely. Now's such a good time to do it, obviously, because we're in a very unique situation, a bit more time on our hands <laughs> and, you know, we can be fluent in another language by autumn. So the sprint starts on the 1st of July, 2020. Yep, you have to sign up 2020. <laughs> What did I say? Hang on, that's right, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. If you do complete the course, you get 100% money cash back. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty impressive. We will give that you the is. finer details a bit later on. Yeah. And everything will be in our description. Yeah, but for now, let's get on to the Michigan slang. Which is like another language to us. It is. <laughs> I really like the way that this email is laid out because it's all of the slang mm -hmm. with none of the answers. And then you scroll below and all the answers so are there. Good. So we'll sort of guess one after the other. Okay. 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 I'll well, guess first then. Okay. Since you got the phone. Number one yeah. is the U dot P. So the U P. The U P. U P. In the brackets, it literally says U P phonetically. Um, the U P. All I can keep thinking of the unique selling point, the U S P, the unique, unique point. Yeah. The unique point of Michigan. What's your USP? Yeah. So if someone's like, what's the UP of Michigan? You'd be like, oh, it's that statue over there. Okay. Okay. That's, that's a I good guess. Is. Okay. Number one, the Upper Peninsula. Oh. My family loves vacationing in the UP. It's a place. It's a place. The UP. The UP. That's is a cool. Place. Like the UK. Oh, yeah. The, the UK, UK or the UP? The UP. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that cool. That's quite good. Yeah, but I, I can see why you thought yeah. unique selling point. Okay. So the next okay. one, the slang called the mitten. Mitten. No, the mitten. The mitten. Yeah. Where? Where's the mitten? The mitten. I feel like I'm feeling like having some of the mitten. The mitten. Okay. The mitten. Obviously, my first guess would be clothing because I'm thinking okay. of mittens. I'm thinking of Christmas, mm -hmm. winter. But it's got to be something bigger, because why would you have slang for, why would it be that? Yeah. The mitten, is it a feeling, an emotion, Ooh. like smitten? I've got I'm the mitten. Say mitten. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> so similar to the first one, in that it refers to the shape of the lower peninsula. Oh. Don't know what that is. Okay. Um, but it says, so the example is, that place is right at the top of the mitten. I'm guessing in Florida, okay. the shape of Florida, they yeah. call that bit the panhandle. So you'd say... <laughs> Oh, it's in the panhandle. So I'm guessing it's their version. It's in the mitten. In the mitten. So there must be a shape like yeah. that in the upper peninsula uh -huh. that looks like a mitten. Yeah. That's well, interesting. That's cool. I like that. Yeah. Thank you very much. Very good, Sydney. Third one, up north. <laughs> up north? Up north. Just up north. Oh. Well, it could for us, if we said up north, it would just mean literally north of the country. But I'm thinking maybe if you... If you're up north, you're like being mean and bitchy. Like, <laughs> stop being up north. I'm sorry, Joel. Or, it's another thing referring to the peninsula. The peninsula. <laughs> this is all. So many peninsulas. This is what? referring to either the northern lower peninsula or the upper peninsula. Do you have any fun plans for the weekend? Yes, we're going up north. Oh, north of the, this, north of the peninsula. Is all the slang to do with peninsula? peninsula. <laughs> you guys, seriously, you, life revolves a lot around the yeah. peninsula in Michigan. What is a peninsula? I think it's like an... You know, like in town where it's like the upper precinct? Yeah. It must be it's that. Like that. It's like the arcade of yeah. shops, the peninsula. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. This is hilarious. If any more is about the peninsula, yeah. I'm going to Yeah, no lose more my... about the peninsula, I'm please. Gonna lose. I'm going to drop okay. my phone. This surely can't be about the peninsula. Go on. Yupa. Y-O-O-P-E-R. Yupa. 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 Like, oh, it's super. It's a yupa. Yupa. Oh, do you want any yupa? <laughs> <laughs> no, stop. 
<laughs> Don't tell me it's about the peninsula. This is what we would call someone from the upper peninsula. <laughs> They are usually very proud of living in the UP and extremely welcoming to visitors. Stereotypes include a loving nature, hunting and fishing, winter sports and winter in general. So example, I went to visit my cousins. They are total UPers. Oh my gosh. Everything's so, about the Upper Peninsula. It is. Everything's about it the Peninsula. It should be called Upper Peninsula Slang with peninsula John and Leah. <laughs> But I guess it's called Yupa because U P the, the U P Yupa. I'm a Yupa. I'm a Yupa. So what are the lower the ones? I'm a Lupa. Lupa. Are you a Yupa? Yupa Lupa. Yupa Lupa. Yupa Lupa. See, this is all about languages, guys. It Reminder is. that Lingoda are doing a language sprint. Yeah. Stay so tuned. Find We're going to talk more about details that a bit later on. Okay. Five. Troll. Troll. Okay. Someone. Same as internet, I think. It's just an ugly person on the inside who is just full of hatred and horribleness and they're probably from the lower peninsula. <laughs> <laughs> right, number five. It's a word that youpers would call someone from the lower no. peninsula. are you joking? You said lower. I said lower. I Be said that they're ugly people on the inside from the lower the peninsula. Yes, because we are under the bridge. Oh. So to speak. Oh, because maybe this divided by a bridge and trolls live under bridges. Yeah. So, and then they say what bridge it is. It's the Mackinac, 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 Ma Mackinac. Uh, oh yeah, Mackinac. Oh, Mackinac Bridge, pronounced Mackinac. Pronounced Mackinac. So it's the Mackinac Bridge. That's where the trolls live. Well, that's not very that nice, bridge. is it? I'm sure people from the Lower Peninsula are lovely. Yeah, that is such a shame. But as it, we had to do the youpers to understand the trolls okay. because it's what the youpers use to describe. Yeah. So that was long-winded. Okay, so the next one is Ope. O-P-E. Ope. O-P-E. Yeah. Ope. 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 I'd say it's um, when you say cheers. Because it sounds like uh, oppa yeah, in oppa. Greek, but oppa, oppa. It's, uh, uh, Kind of, but no. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it's commonly used when we accidentally bump into someone. In the Lower to Peninsula. Oops, <laughs> in the Lower Peninsula. <laughs> no, this one actually isn't to do with any peninsulas. Right, well, finally. finally. The video begins. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome so, to the video, guys. An example is instead of saying, oops, sorry, you'd say, oop, oop, sorry. Or oop. oop, excuse me. Or oop, let me just squeeze right past you. Or just oop. Oop. Oh, 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 that's I just cool. love my dead dead banner. Oh, I feel like it could be used in a song. Yeah. And I said, oh, yeah. yeah okay, yeah, cool. Thank be, you. I think there's that's a feature cool. in that. Oops. Oh, ope, ope. I don't say oops. I, I say oh, because I'm from the peninsula, upper ope. or lower. <laughs> <laughs> Quick fire round. Jeet. Um, what do you okay, mean? Jeet. I think if you jeet, you're, you're sort of like you surprise. You jump at something. You're like, oh, that jeeted me. Uh, it's another term for did you eat? Did you jeet. eat? Jeet. Jeet. Oh, jeet. Like, like all like Essex people are like, G. 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 Amazing. Right. That's cool. Quick fire round. Okay. So we've just done G. The next one is schnookered. 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 Absolutely white girl schnookered drunk. Yes. Another term for drunk. She was so <laughs> schnookered last night. Actually, that is actually a <laughs> miraculous so guess. Okay. Quick fire. Fudgy. 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 Oh, that's very dodgy. Oh, a bit dodgy. Ooh, it's oh, it's like iffy. Fudgy. Oh, fudgy. Okay. It's a Michigan term for a tourist traveling up north. Oh, a fudgy. <laughs> there's, the upper there's way too many fudgies here today. Fudgies. Tourists. <gasps> fudgies. fudgies for tourists. Yeah. That's cool. There are a lot of fudge shops in northern Michigan, <gasps> so it's a big attraction for visitors. That's so good because they buy fudge. <laughs> fudgy. <laughs> fudgy. <laughs> too many fudgies buying fudge. Oh, dear. So then towny. This towny. Is, I would have thought this would be similar to fudgy, but I don't know. Would it be the opposite of a fudgy because you belong in the town, you're like born and bred, okay. you're not a fudgy? Kind of. It's saying it's used by visitors when referring to people in small tourist towns or small towns in general. So I'll ask a townie for directions. Oh, okay. So okay. it's the opposite of a fudgy, I guess. A fudgy would call someone a townie who lives there. Yeah. And a townie would call me a fudgy. A fudgy. So right now in Chichester, you're the townie and, and I'm you're the fudgy. fudgy. Yes. Those were all 10 phrases slash words. That yeah. was thoroughly enjoyable, that wasn't was it? That was very good. Some great moments in there. Some Lots great of, We've learned a lot about moments. peninsulas. I know, we know. We're ready for the Michigan yeah. Peninsula. Yeah, we know <laughs> what to call them Yupas or you, you, what was the other you, one? Uh, I've uh, forgotten it now. It's um, trolls. Trolls. The trolls Yupers. if they're under the bridge. Do you know what? If we go to Michigan and we start calling people trolls, fudgies, townies, we're going to get punched, aren't we? Yeah. You'll just set us up, Sydney. She's like, <laughs> let me get them killed in Michigan. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> 
we've come to the end of the video and we want to talk a little bit more about the language sprint by mm -hmm. Lingoda. Yeah. So the details are as follows. You need to enter by the 15th of June, 2020. Yeah. Your course will start on the 1st of July, 2020, mm -hmm. just 20 days before my birthday. Wow. Thank you. Coincidence? <laughs> I wow. think not. <laughs> now there are two sprints you can sign up for. Firstly, if you're super eager, you can do the super sprint, which is where you commit to doing 30 classes in 30 days for three months. And if you attend every single class, you get 100% of your money back. If you've got the commitment, if you've got the drive, if you can <laughs> be somewhere every day yeah. and just make it happen, can you make a daily habit out of it? You get rewarded with your own cash back. And basically that means you've learned a language for, for free. free which is amazing. But if you feel like you can't fully commit to it, mm -hmm. then there is the normal sprint or just the sprint, which is attending 15 classes every 30 days for three months, and then you get 50% of your money back. Makes sense, really. If yeah. you can put half the effort in, yeah. you get half, half your the money, money back. back. Like, it makes this so much sense. This is why we like Lingoda, because they motivate you with money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, because literally, because I know that if mm. I'm doing this course, yeah. I need to attend every day yeah. if I want to get my money back. If you do want to sign up, guys, don't forget, we've got a discount code, which is CLASS55. That will give you 10 euros off of your deposit. Mm -hmm. And just a reminder of the languages that are available. Yeah, English, Spanish, French, German, or even business English, if English is your second language and you want to get into business. business. Um, business. But don't forget as well, all the classes are taught by native speakers from that language. It's very small class sizes, it's very intimate, and it's just a great thing to do, especially while we're in this situation and we want to put our minds to good use. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Lingoda, for sponsoring this video. And we hope you guys have enjoyed watching. We hope some of you sign up on the next sprint. Yeah, we'll let see us you. know. Yeah. Tag us on Instagram. Follow us there. If you Definitely. sign up to the sprint, we want to know what languages you're learning. Yes. Take care, everyone. <laughs> and we'll see you soon. See you soon. Bye. 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 Killing me so Ew. Uh, There's a dead bee in the oh berries. God. Oh, my God. And that, oh, my God. Picture. Picture. Discount. Discount. <laughs> <laughs> Did you take a pic? Yeah. One sec. <laughs> It was a dead bee in our we, uh, raspberries. We should try and make it look like we're at home. <laughs>